Um, well, I know what you're thinking, and before this becomes an issue, I'm just going to address it. The politically correct term is Asian American. <laughs> So you can all relax now. <laughs> so apparently, Asian people have a big, really bad reputation for driving. Can you believe this? I have to say that I'm Asian, and I am a horrible driver. I just shift to go, and I just hope for the best. <laughs> But what I love about this is that it gives me an excuse. <laughs> so I ran over a pedestrian the other day. And he got up, he was like, what the? Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't realize you're Asian. <laughs> I should have looked where I was going. <laughs> what am I doing in the crosswalk? <laughs> yeah, so please keep it coming. So I was in the grocery store a couple days ago and this guy taps me on the shoulder in line. He's like, hey, hey, do you know Debbie? <laughs> no. So, oh, you must know her, little Debbie. She played a knee walk. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, sir, but I'm sorry. The only little Debbie I know happens to be a cupcake. <laughs> But hey, hey, you must know my neighbor Steve, because he's also not so bright. <laughs> well, so a lot of my girlfriends, they get very uh, stressed out with their moms, telling them to marry rich, successful, handsome men. I never had that kind of pressure from my mom. My mom always just told me in a sweet voice, Honey, I hope someday you'll find a guy that will love you for who you are. A guy that's nice. No, no, my mom's not mean, she's Korean. <laughs> but she just had really good foresight that I would be dating in the fine city of Los Angeles, where one can only hope to find a nice guy. At least he'd smile a lot. Um, so I thought my friends were all telling me, you should be, you, know, you should take dating more seriously. I was like, all right, well. I try internet dating because that seems to be working for a lot of people. And when I try something new, I tell you, I go for the very best. Craigslist. Because <laughs> I knew I would find the love of my life on the penny saver of the internet. <laughs> so I go with this guy and I was very disappointed because he stood me up. And I was really sad, and I was surprised a couple days later, he called me, and I was like, so what happened to you? He said, well, baby, didn't I tell you? There are gonna be days where I just disappear. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh, oh, okay. Well, there are gonna be days where I wanna stab you in the face, <laughs> baby. So as you can tell, dating has not been going well. <laughs> and I've been, you know, trying to focus on other things. I, you know, sent my friends my, my comedy videos, and they're like, oh, wow, things must not be going so well. I'm sorry, is there anything we can do? Can we send you something? I'm like, yeah, how about a check? <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe I should, you know, make some money. And my friend told me, you know, you should try to get some commercial work, because they're looking for people like you. What? People like me? I'm sorry, but that really upsets me because that's all you want. That's all you want. Hot chicks. <laughs> Pigs. So I go to see this um, agent and I figured, okay, well, hopefully this goes well. But I've been keeping in contact and I get very, very nervous when he calls me because I'm so afraid he's gonna get me work. <laughs> I'm especially employable during the holidays, specifically Christmas. 
I know the money's good, but I'm just so tired of playing Santa Claus. <laughs> like, why can't I go for something a little less seasonal, something that happens all year round? Like a Valtrex commercial. <laughs> I'm so cute enough to have herpes. <laughs> really, I am. So, recently I was in prison for eight hours. They took my fingerprints, did a background check, and stuck me in a room full of losers. My, my boss likes to call this an orientation. And I was like, orientation? Is this because I'm an oriental? It is 2008. He's like, no, no, no. I was like, oh, so I guess it's because I'm a little person, huh? So he sent me home with a bonus and two weeks vacation. It was very nice of him. Um, but like, I recently learned that wearing cute shoes is very, very dangerous. I was pumping gas and I was trying to um, punch in my zip code at the keypad and I tripped and fell face first onto the hood of my car. And I was like so embarrassed and I was like, oh man, damn these shoes. Well, I'm, I'm gonna have to make some changes in my life. So I started paying inside. I wasn't gonna compromise on my style, please. So I go in, and it's a really odd thing to pay at inside of the cash register because, like, who does that? Why would you be in there unless you're trying to rob the place? <laughs> so I just figured, okay, whatever. And I pay my 40 bucks, and I didn't really calculate the fluctuating gas prices. And I was horrified when it stopped at 37, and I still had three bucks to go. So I go inside, I was like, oh, I'm sorry, um, can I have my refund? Because you know, I overestimate. me. He's like, well, I'm sorry, we don't give refunds. Excuse me, you don't give refunds? So I just thought, well, I'm inside. I might as well just steal stuff to compromise on this whole deal. I, I couldn't believe it. It was just ridiculous. So, I don't know. Well, before I leave you guys tonight, I'm going to just tell you that I did look up little people on Google to see what that was all about. First hit... Fisher Price Little People Playset. <laughs> if you haven't noticed, I'm an Asian woman. People are already terrified that I, you know, drive. So why would they want to think that I drive a plastic car? <laughs> right? But thank you very much. I'm Diane Kawasaki. <laughs>